Hey guys, welcome back to King Fab and Off-Road. Uh, hopefully you caught my last video, but if you didn't, well, you see what is behind me. Yeah, this sweet thing is an 05 six-speed extended cab. It has all the goodies that I wanted to put into Goldie. Um, long story short, if you saw the other video, you got a small rundown. But this thing has super 60 axles, so in the front, and then you got the Sterling 10 and a half in the back. We've got lockers, we've got King coilovers all the way around. We have um, custom sliders, custom bumpers. I mean, the works. We're gonna be going over this truck little by little. And um, I cheated with this truck. Of course, you guys know me as the guy that's gonna build something or uh, at least build most of it. And that is what I wanted to do. I actually wanted one of these trucks in a four-door. Um, but I found out that the extended cab in these trucks, it works for the kiddos still because they're small. Uh, a four-door is better. But I also wanted something just a hair shorter, a little bit different, uh, just to change it up. And that's where we're at. So we're going to be doing just some simple stuff today. Going to get it lifted up in the air. I'm going to go over some of the stuff underneath, show you guys some of the fab work, and uh, go over my plans with it. It needs an oil change, all the fluids checked, all the normal stuff you see me do on the channel. And then we are going to uh, get that done. And yeah, just like I said, just an over overview video, you know, today, and show you guys the plans and the beauty of this thing. So stay tuned and keep on watching. This beautiful thing's got 150,000 miles. It is equipped with a Safari snorkel, which I'm not sure I'm crazy about. Um, there's a lot of good reasons to have one. There's a lot of reasons I don't like them. Uh, in my opinion, they are hard to uh, not rip off doing what we do, but they have their place. So we'll see how long it hangs out. Hopefully I don't snag it on something immediately. But that's first thing. Otherwise, it is a fairly stock truck under the hood. Um, it does have headers. Uh, of course, you got a nice yellow top in here if you're into Optimas. I've had good and bad experiences with those. Uh, it's got some custom lighting throughout. Um, it does have some rigid lights. It's got uh, chase lights. These are amber colored. It's got a uh, 12,000 pound winch behind the bumper. Uh, shoot, what's it got? We got full hydro. Um, steering, we've got, oh shoot, rebuildable ball joints all the way around. We've got the, uh, 538s. I'm trying to think what else. Um, yeah, pretty much covers it in the front here. But anyways, we're going to do, uh, oil change here. I'm going to get it racked and just show you guys underneath. So, yeah. Okay, you guys might have just noticed that uh, I put a water bottle under here. So there's a cap. These are upside down oil filters and there's a little drain right here. You keep a vacuum cap on that and put like a water bottle underneath it and it doesn't get all over your engine. So that's what I was doing there. And these you just lube up the bottom like any other oil filter, spin it on there, give it about a crank, whatever kind of crank feels good to you call it good now we're gonna lift it up man you just can't help but appreciate how this thing is built um, I was thoroughly impressed with the idea of having links front and rear and it being set up correctly is a big thing. Now I haven't had this out in the trails, but I can tell by how this thing drives. I've driven it on the road. Um, it's set up pretty nicely. Uh, there's a couple little things, of course, not, you can't get best of both worlds in everything you do. But um, as you can see, there's a lot of nice work throughout this thing. And that's what I like about it. We've got fully integrated boxed in mounts here for the uppers. Uh, in the back, they are built very nicely with plenty of support. We have a complete, it's not a, it's not a belly, but it's a 
it's a unified front and rear uh, bar here between the frame and that's how all the lower links are mounted and then same thing up here everything is boxed in really nicely welded in nicely and then our upper link running up here slight bend here for exhaust and oil pan and once again super nicely welded in there so everything under here uh got the fj case in there i am in the process that is the first thing i want to do actually uh the first thing i want to do is get the exo crawler kit from northwest fab probably in this we're going to get uh the adapter kit the uh underdrive or overdrive unit however you want to look at it and uh we'll be adding that in here and i think it'll all fit in here very nicely actually and then we'll go from there on it but that's the wrap up of underneath and just giving you a quick look of course as things get changed and and wheeled and i'll let you know what i like and don't like about it i'll be going going over everything a lot more but how it is now uh i'm super super excited and ready to uh see how it does but anyways we're gonna get to the rest of this oil change then i'll blabber a little bit more about some parts and things uh about the truck but uh, anyways let's get the oil out of this thing being that this is a toyota most of you guys can probably guess well if you're watching this you do your own oil changes most likely and uh you know the size but toyota's 14s 12s 17s you know the drill come grab me a 14 real quick to drain the oil and for some reason my 14 is missing here we go let's see how it looks i pulled the dipstick when i bought it it looked pretty all right but the first thing i do when i buy anything especially something like this is i like to check all my fluids and uh starting with oil of course engine is the first lifeblood of the whole vehicle it's kind of cruddy it smells a little bit i don't know it could have used it for sure i want to say that the guy I bought it from he actually mentioned that it was due for an oil change so it all makes sense we'll get this all draining get it filled up with some nice thin synthetic oil uh and fill it up i think these are six six and a half something like that on capacity but we'll fill it up and uh check out a couple more things okay guys we got the uh oil change all done that's sort of basic stuff but an introduction to looking at this truck the first thing that i found that concerned me was i had some inner uh not inner i'm sorry outer bearing or <sighs> the play in this flange on my pinion could would come in and out like the crush sleeve had not been crushed so i thought it was weird and there's absolutely no preload so i actually took my uh impact and just gave it a snug just so the in and out play went away i peeked in there on this rear diff cover and everything's looking okay i personally have to drive this truck here um for a, you know going back home and stuff here in a minute so i was able to look in this hole right here and i can see the gears and i just visually looked at everything and everything looks okay but i definitely am gonna tear into this rear end and make sure that my lashes are right my back spacing everything's all happy uh and you know re uh ah, shoot relash it and everything and just make sure everything's kosher but other than that everything's looking pretty all right uh otherwise and i'll get that drive shaft put back in and uh, let it down finish of course doing my oil but just thought i'd let you guys see that and uh yeah we'll get it let down here and get to the end of the video all right guys well that wraps up the first you know go over of the truck uh it's probably boring for you guys to watch but hopefully you guys are excited about this truck i'm gonna go over it in more detail and really tell you uh the pros cons and parts and etc in like a following video i'm just doing this quick because uh you know oil change and just busy and stuff at work but uh, i'm super stoked about this truck um i think it's gonna be fun to wheel fun to tinker with and change some things on that's what i like to do on the channel and uh yeah so 
stay tuned. Let me know what you think of the new and improved Goldie. This obviously isn't gold, it's white. I don't know, I'm gonna have to come up with a name. It's kind of a thing I do on my channel. I like to name my vehicles and uh, yeah. So let me know what you guys think there too. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. Thanks for tuning in. As always, I appreciate you guys. Like, subscribe, let me know anything uh, about this that you do or don't like, etc. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. Check you later.